Good morning everybody. It is day, what day? 13? 14? I don't even know. What day is it? Dinner. It is day 14, we're having breakfast, Mexican style. <laughs> so I'm just, just having... Home, homemade home, tortillas. Homemade tortillas, they're really nice though. Homemade tortillas with some salsa, that is what she's oh. having. I'm having a bagel with some peanut butter. <laughs> I'm so boring. Um, but, but the thing is guys, right, these are corn tortillas and we just had a little debate about corn tortillas, right? I'm someone who likes flour tortillas personally, but when we went to Mexico, they gave us a corn tortilla. We didn't, we didn't show you the, the um, thing, did we? Or the food, no. Yeah, we didn't show you the we food. We kind of ate it too fast. Yeah, they had a corn tortilla, and I've never liked corn tortillas, but the one in Mexico is really nice, and I liked it. So uh, when I got back to Sider's place, and I told her mum, and she goes, right, I'm going to make you fresh tortillas. You're going to like them, da, da, da. And she made them, and I did. I liked them. And then this morning, uh, Sider got these out of the fridge, and I tried it, and I was like, I don't like it. And I think what it is, and it sounds a bit stuck up, but... I only like freshly cooked tortillas. I don't like the taste it has. Can you imagine that? He, wa he wants me to make homemade tortillas every day. I don't like the taste it has like a day or so after. It tastes a little bit different to me. When I said it's cider before, I said I compared it to pizza. You know like when you get a day old pizza and it tastes a little bit different to when you have it the day before. But personally, I like day old pizza and I like but fresh pizza. If you had homemade tortillas they are gonna hands down prefer homemade well, tortillas than, than yeah yeah I understand that but I don't know I, I like the fresh one because I to me I don't know what taste it is but it's got this certain taste it must be corn taste I'm not sure yeah. but I don't like that taste too much but when they're fresh that taste is not so strong it's, you get taste of other things and that's what it is but yeah I'm, I'm sticking with my bagel and my thing and everyone said I had a fat tummy in the in the vlog you don't I, do. I promise you don't. It was that shirt though. It's an overs first, oversized t-shirt. I really want to show you guys my stomach, but I feel that's weird. No, you're not showing them your stomach. <laughs> but they, think I'm they think I'm fat. It was because you were wearing a white shirt, which... No, I won't show them the stomach, but I've got a different t-shirt on today. Is my stomach big? No, not at all. Yeah, you don't have a, you don't have a stomach. You don't have one. Have, have, but you have a nipple. Leave her nipple alone. Shall we say that? No! Right, chicka wow. You want to do it? Right, chicka wow. Give a little tea. I no! I want to prove to everyone my stomach's No, you can see it. You don't have a stomach. Wait, you ready? don't need. I'll just do no. quick. Okay, go, go, go. You know, they can pause it if they want to see. Okay, go, go, go. Ready? Go! That was way too long! <laughs> what the hell? That's not a big stomach. That booty though. That's oh. not a, a big stomach. Everyone says they've got a big stomach. And he doesn't. It honestly was because. You had a white shirt, which already adds a weight, and it was really you, loose. To be honest, I ate a lot that day, mm -hmm. and that was the truth. I ate a lot that day. Yeah. All right, but you guys, I gotta go make him his peanut butter bagel, so I will be back. Right. Okay. Taste test to see if it is actually true. To see if I like homemade tortillas the day after, because my theory. I told you to get the center bit, not the. Theory not the edge. wrong. Ready? Yes. It's gonna be a bit crunchy because I cooked it a lot. Cause I wanted it a bit those toasted. You know what? You like it. Tastes a lot better. Tastes a lot better than the ones you get from the store. It's, it's good with the salsa, isn't it? Mm, that's nice. Can I have some of that? No. I want to show, I want to show them something. You have tortillas, you have um, salsa, and I'm going to get some cheese. Oh, my Can sister. Yeah. yeah. Look at this, guys, right? Hold on, let me get it the right way. We've got some cola bottles, right? Uh-huh. But if you turn it around, look at that. There we go, look at that. They say our names. My sister got them for us with a, a few other things she got for our birthday. Three, she got three each. Yep, so that she we could three, drink one. Three for me, three for Cider. And um, so one to drink, one to keep, and one to take to England. Yeah, so we're supposed to keep like each other's names like that, and then we each get a set kind of thing. So but that was really cool. I haven't right? got a name. I'm known by Big Zetsy and she got a name. Yeah, and the, my family calls you Biggs. And don't, don't mind my hair, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna have this, that, Here's his bagels with peanut butter, and yeah, that Breakfast is it. Breakfast time, Jessica Jones time. Time to eat. All right, so we are about to head out to go buy some fishies for the fish tank because today, or yesterday, my mom was like, you having fun? Mm -hmm. Shake it, shake it, shake, 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 shake it, 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 idiot. So my mom was like, uh, before you guys go to England, I want you and Ricky to go to the fish store and pick out a fish so they could, and we are going to name them Ricky and Zai. And, we're gonna put it and in here. here, 
So they are going to go in here with the other fishies. I'm going to turn on the light when we get back. We're going to put them in. They're going to hang out in there. And they're going to make all their little we're fishy you, friends. We're going to show you which fish we selected. I already have in mind which one I'm going to get. Mine's going to be the best. No, it's not. Mine's going to be the prettiest. And there are some Christmas presents under the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, I wonder who they're for. And there's Fluff. Let's show them Fluffy Fluff. She's for us. This is a new Hello. spot. She loves oh, it. She does this creepy yarn. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright, gotta go. Hey guys, so we are back with our fishies. Oh, there's it's Ricky and Sai. No, it's not. It's just the water that he grabbed them in. There's Ricky and there's Sai. She's the pretty little orange one. And you, there's Ricky. You're gonna go put them in now? No, we're gonna let them sit in the you water. Put the bag in, right? Yeah, we're gonna put the it? bag in here for about 15 well, minutes. You do it. Okay, and camera. You do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do with all this stuff my mom put on top of the fish tank. Like that. Don't drop it. Do it from the top. I am. I am. It's, this is the top. It's gonna sit there for a while. Just leave it. That's how I do it. Look, I mean, they're gonna say hello. Look, they're new friends. Oh, let me turn on the light. Oh, I usually like putting some um, relaxer in there so that they're eased in. You know. Do it then some stress coat you know because even fish get stressed out sometimes i only put a tiny tiny bit why are you de-stressing the fish that are already in there shouldn't you de be de-stressing the new fish i de-stress everyone because it's like a new friend you know sometimes when you start a new school it's, a, it's stressful why i put it in here and it's only a tiny bit Where, what's that the filter huh what, where yeah that's the filtered it? water i don't like putting it straight in there it might take a while to get in there but you know it's just to calm them down a little bit Trying to help them out. Where are they? They're in there. Look, there they are. Ricky and Zai. Ricky and Zai. Oh, oh look, they're trying to say hi. There's another one. You can you tell the difference from that yeah. one to that one? This one's uh, pink. Oh look, he's going up to the bag. That one could be a bully sometimes, though. Can look, it? They, they have a friend though. Remember he's, the one I told you hides all the time? Yeah. That's the same one. That, oh yeah, it's over here. It's over here. Here. I just saw it. There, right there, right there. See it? Oh uh, wait, how do I see it? The one in the back? Yeah, they, yeah, that's their friend. Oh, now he's got a little family. Yeah, now he's not by himself anymore. Was he by himself? Yeah, because my mom usually likes to buy them in pairs. Mm. Like this blue one, pink one got bought at the same time. That one and the yellow one got bought at the same time. That one and the one down there. And this is the only one, the first one we ever got that survived everything, all of it. So now we're going to leave them in there for a few minutes and then we're going to release them into the wild. Yep. And I will show you guys that in their habitat. Alright you guys, so we're just waiting for Ricky to make a thumbnail and we're going to take Dusty out. I just wanted to show you guys how excited she is. Look at her. You want to go for a walk? Yeah? She, she's calmed down a little bit. Oh my gosh, I forgot to pick this up. I swept and I just left everything here. Ready? Sit. Good girl. You ready? She's like, can you just take me out please? You ready for you go for a walk? Yeah? Good girl. We're going to go for a walk in, yeah? Look at you. You're such a cutie patootie. A lot of you guys asked me what breed she was. She is a blue nose pit bull. The, it's just basically like a blue pit bull. If you Google them, they're like the cutest little puppies ever. And they're basically called blue nose because when they're born, they all have like a grayish. It's not blue, but have you ever seen like a grayish blue color? It kind of looks like that, but um, she is the sweetest little dog ever. I know a lot of pit bulls and stuff get a really bad name because that's how they're always portrayed, but they are very, very sweet dogs. Like Ricky has said, she is one of the sweetest dogs you'll ever meet. She's so cuddly, that's all she wants to do. She's, she's lazy. She is the laziest dog ever, and all she wants to do is sleep on people's beds. As much as we don't want her on the beds because she's a drooly mess, she just loves beds so much. So when Ricky is done, we're gonna go ahead and take her for a walk. All right, guys, so the bub's finally finished. Doing what he needed to do. From the 100 episodes of Chaos Craft Season uh, 2. Can you believe that? 100 episodes. I think in total I've done like... A million? I think it's close to 300. I think it must be about 260. Oh wow. In total since Season 1. Oh wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and I said that in my LP as well. You have to watch it, but I'll give you a little hint. That's all well, you've probably already seen it by the same time as this. Um, the amount of stuff I've done in Season 2 is way more There's than There's also a one. surprise in that if you guys watch it. Hmm? There's oh, yeah, also a little surprise. Is. Mm -hmm. is, yeah. Um, but you look, we're walking Dusty now. Here she is. She Dusty, do you want to say hi? Dusty, come here. Sit. Wait, what's this? Good girl. Say Good hi. Girl. Hello, Dusty. She's so, she so lazy, though. She's such a little fatty. It's a chilled walk. We're just letting her sniff everything. She's probably going to be too exhausted by the time we get back. I'll show you guys. 
you'll be knocked, she's knocked out. out. Yeah, I think they're doing some construction up ahead, but so she's gonna have a good time. Take a nice slow walk. It's like we're having a romantic walk with our dog, aren't we? Yeah. Our little doggy. There she is. Hi guys, we're at Johnny Rockets. Look at this. They're known for their milkshakes. They're so good. We both got Oreo. Look. You get extra ice cream. Because it doesn't fit in there, so you get extra in there. It is so, so good. You don't we'll, even understand. We'll look show you it. the food when we get it. But look at that. No, 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 no. Okay, so I got the grilled cheese. Here it is with some fries. And look at this. <laughs> you got the chicken, the grilled chicken. Yep. With some fries and a little smiley as well. I want to try the grilled cheese. Hey guys, so it is a night time and we have been promising you guys to tell you guys this story for Probably a while. you guys to tell you guys. <laughs> this story of what happened because the last couple days have been very eventful, haven't they? Yes, two stories. Alright, so first we go back to Venice Day which was on Sunday. Was, so this was happened... the first one Venice Day? Yeah, so it was Sunday. Um, I had a good day in Venice. Afterwards we met up with my sister at Dave & Buster's. You guys have already seen that vlog. You guys saw us play at the arcade and stuff. Well, when we first got there, probably 10 minutes after my sister got there, we're about to start playing some games, and all of a sudden, it goes dark, and then a siren starts going off. Yeah, and the lights just went out. Yeah, everything. The machines turned off, the whole place went, and uh, it's Dave and & Buster's. So there's an arcade, and then the other half is like a, a restaurant. So this like metal gate starts to come down that you can't see through it's what what it's doing this gate this like metal shutter is coming down and it's closing down the exits and it looks like one of them things that you have to like run and, and try and slide underneath yeah and some kid tried to do that because so, his parent was on the other side so imagine the situation right we're playing a game at an arcade all of a sudden boom all the machines go out boom the lights go out the 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 siren starts going off and then this door starts going like especially with all the stuff going like on in, in the world at the moment it, it was something that was for a split second you're kind of you know you do get scared i wish we vlogged it but in that moment you just think you were freaking out oh my god what is so that? we're kind of thinking like what's going on no one's really saying anything kids are freaking out because there was like a party going on so a lot of the kids got separated from their parents their parents were on the other side of this metal this metal gate thing that they can't see through or anything like that so you have one kid sobbing because he can't find his brother or his parents and then you have people just trying to figure out what's going on this is going on for like an hour i my personal opinion right when when the when the shutters came down i thought we were on lockdown because in my head i think i just thought maybe there was like a shooting nearby or something like that. that's just what i thought but the reason we went on lockdown is because apparently there was a fire someone started a fire because it d just to... the, we were like in a mall mm. area and someone started a fire in the mall and apparently they locked down everything when that happened yeah just to try to investigate it see where it was coming from making sure it wasn't anything kind of crazy and then that was basically it but this was going on for like an hour and it was it was just scary because like i said everything that's going on and then also not knowing what's going like i don't know why they insist on not letting anyone know what's going on at the moment mm -hmm. like i think that makes me panic more i'd rather you tell me this is exactly what's going on just stay calm i'll stay calm i just don't like not knowing because all that kept happening was this man kept coming on the announcement saying we are currently investigating an alarm please be patient or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or please saying. follow instructions. That's there was no saying. instruction. Like, this is another thing at that place. The, I think the place handled it terribly because they didn't even tell us what to do. They didn't tell us like, oh, just stay calm. Don't worry, we're going to sort it out. They didn't say anything. They just kind of, all of this happened and they were like, okay. And bear in mind, while this is happening, the lights are still out. So like for the whole hour, we were sitting in the arcade with all the machines off. So we couldn't even play any games and the lights were out. And kids were just crying. Yeah, the only light you were getting were from the alarms. And yeah, I was like, why can't you at least put a game so I could play some video games? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So then that was that. That was eventful. That was and that then, day. What day was that? What's today? Sunday. Today is what? And then today is... What is, is today? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. So that was Sunday. This then, other thing happened on Tuesday. Happen? On Tuesday, yes. So we went to Yesterday, the mall. Yeah. yeah. We went to the mall. Sorry, it was like at a weird angle. My arm was just getting tired. Um, on so, Tuesday, we went to the mall to finish up the last bit of Christmas shopping. Yeah. We went to go get some Panda Express, and um, 
while we're there, I went to go order. And one of the things that people do at Panda Express over here is they often ask for samples. Like, oh, can I try the shrimp? And then the lady will give it to you. Well, there was this guy in front of me. And I at first thought that he might be completely blind because he was wearing like the, you know, like the dark glasses he and had stuff. black sunglasses on. He had a hood up. Uh -huh. And he had a hoodie over his hood. And he just, and he had these bag, big bags on his back, like a big rucksack. And he was carrying two or three bags as well. And he was walking to Panda Express. Well, he in, was uh, in he front was of in us. Panda we, Express. You were kind of in the line. He was walking, and we were walking, and then he got to Panda Express before us. I then, didn't see him walking. And he was looking at it, and then we walked up to it, and then he kind of just like walked around the counter. He wasn't getting served. He was looking. He went for a sample. He said, "Can I have a sample?" Walked around the counter, and we just kept looking at things like that. And the lady was like, "Okay." So then we walked up second, and then she said. And uh, no, the lady at the counter looked at her and said, oh, can I help you? And then she was like, yeah, can I have the, 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 the? And the guy went, wait, 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 wait. She, she's, she's helping me right now. And we, and we, and we both yeah, were Yeah, like, the first thing I thought was, the uh, first thing I said was, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were still ordering. And the lady was like, oh, I thought you were done. I thought you were just, you know, trying, you were just trying something. And then the lady looked at me and said, I thought he was just getting a sample. And I go, I'm sorry, if you weren't done, I didn't mean to like cut in line or anything like that. Is you just basically like, don't worry about it. So the whole thing was weird. At the end, he just ended up saying, I'm just going to go eat somewhere what else. At the end, it was just like literally what everything she just said, like, oh, I'm sorry for cutting in. I didn't mean to. He said that. He went, oh, I'm going to go somewhere else anyway. Yeah, like in a rude way. Anyway, he goes off. I finished at Panda Express. I don't know where he went. Afterwards, we go sit down and I was like, wait, where did he go? Did you see where he went? And, he, went to um, a, he went to another uh, food place, just a couple down. But... We, we sat far away. Like, the family but wait, because like, I asked here. you, what did he do when he went to go to the, the restaurant? And he, you basically said he did the same thing, was just staring around, not really ordering anything. Yeah, So yeah, place, again, yeah. we went to go sit quite far away, because we like to sit like more like private area, I guess. And he literally sat right behind us, which I kind of felt weird, because I thought, why would you sit right behind us yeah. when there's a lot of other seats? Anyway, he sits behind us, and then all of a sudden, we're just minding our own business. I kind of felt a little bit uncomfortable with him sitting behind me, but I was just like, whatever. Yeah, because bear in mind, the mall at this time, the food area, was empty. was empty, and we went far. We were Not far, but it's quite a big space. We went like to the other side to just go sit by the edge, and then he finished get, getting his order, and he walked pretty much the same length that we did to sit on the table that was next to us, and we were like... That, yeah. That's a bit so anyway, we're sitting there. I'm eating, and then all of a sudden, I hear something about like, "Oh, it's so easy to murder someone." And I'm like, "And he's talking to what? himself." Yeah, he's, he's by himself. He's by himself, and I'm sitting there by myself. Haven't said anything to him. I'm thinking, "Did he really just say that?" So I'm eating again. All the things going on in the world at the moment. I'm like, "Did you just hear that?" He said more than that. Because and then, I and, then more. and then you were like, "Yeah." So then, what I heard after that was something about. It's so easy to stab someone. And I thought, okay, that's not right. But he said more before that. He goes... He, he, and then you heard something he else. Was, he was mumbling something before he sat down. As he was doing it, he was taking his coat, his, his, whatever he had on, his hoodie off. And he's putting his bags down. He said something about, oh, I'm going to kill somebody in this place. He, they don't even understand how easy it is to murder someone. And he was saying this as he was taking off his coat. And then... He said what you said, like, mm, it's going uh, to stab someone or something like that. And we're looking at each other. He's, it literally, it was like this. I'm sitting here, side so is sitting there opposite me, and, and this guy is behind her, like, right there. And that's what it's like. And he's saying all these things, and we're like... And I'm thinking, look, if he's going to kill somebody, he's gonna, he thinks I'm a rude person because he thinks I cut in front of him, which I didn't. So he's trying to try to kill me first. So I, I was like, you know what, I don't feel comfortable. We should go say something. So we got up. First of all, like we've been telling you guys, there's been security everywhere. Couldn't find a single one. So finally we do. I let him know like the whole incident and stuff. Only because I'm not someone that creates a fuss. I, I'm really not someone that, I'm not like that at all. But it just, what he was saying wasn't right. And I didn't feel comfortable. And I didn't want to be watching the news later on. And like we find out something happens and we know that we could have possibly prevented it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not ever saying to people, go overreact and be overdramatic. But I kind of think that this was one of those situations where you should tell somebody. Especially with everything that's going on at the moment, all the terrorist attacks and stuff mm -hmm. like that. If you see something suspicious, there's no harm 
in just telling the security. No, we, we didn't call the police. We mm-hmm. didn't do that. We just told the security exactly that what in, happened. That was in the mall, and that was like, it. we just told you guys basically. And that, and that was it. But no disrespect to anyone. But this guy was, we assumed he was homeless because his clothes were really dirty and his backpack had like loads of holes in it and stuff like that. And he, and he, he just didn't seem right in the head. Mm-hmm. He didn't seem right, even from the start. So we assumed that he was just homeless. Um, so we, and he, eventually we just moved away and then we, we went home. And as we were going home, we just told the security what happened. And then they just went and kept an eye on him. But it was a little bit weird considering he walked all the way to the fo- other side of the food court to come and sit by us. And he was saying that right behind us. He could have said that as he was walking. I, to I do kind of feel like if it, like let's say he wasn't trying to do anything, his intention was to scare, scare us. us. Yeah. And I, I don't think that's okay. That's not something that's okay to do to anybody. And you shouldn't joke about that stuff anyway. It's like you go to an airport, you don't joke about stupid things because why are you gonna try to create fear in other people if you don't need to? Mm. But yeah, that was the two things that happened. So we got locked in the arcade with all the lights off thinking what is going on and then the guy said he's going to stab someone in the mall while we're eating our Panda Express. Yeah, I was just trying to enjoy my Panda I didn't even finish my Panda Express after that. And that is what happened. So. And I'm very sad about that because it was really good. thing is, that day, uh, yesterday, that's when your neck was hurting, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yesterday when your neck, neck was hurting, we just totally forgot about it by the end of the day. Dave and Buster's, I think, we got back late, so we did. We forgot to mention we, we it. We literally just forgot to mention it. Forgot to mention it again, and then, yeah, that's it. Yeah, by the way, I was rubbing my eye because I have an eyelash in there, and it was really bothering me. And also, if I'm talking weird, it's because my mouth is still dying. Like, literally still dying on this side. So, yeah, but that is it. That is it, guys. That is what... Uh, that was story time with Ricky and Zach. That's what's been happening this week, so... Yeah. All right, well, we are going to head off to sleep. We're going to finish watching this TV show, and then we're going to... You Okay. Good night, guys.